Look at this. I'm stomping on here and the Hauntress is just standing still. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk about the Hauntress. You had your chance to be cool. Hello. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Manchester, New Hampshire, and I have found another open spirit Halloween. This looks like a smaller location, but I am so excited to get inside and see what they have. All right, guys, let's go. What in the world? What do I see right inside the doors? What the heck? They got wacky mole set out here right by Mr. Howell. I kind of like it. You're already talking to us. Going crazy again. <laughs> he looks totally different without the black light on him. Like everything lights up when he's in the other section with the black light on him. Boys and girls, who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> All right, Mr. Howell, let's get you going. I want to hear your major howl. Here we go. Is he turned on? Oh, yeah, he is. Here we go. Look at the size of his mouth. You could fit like your entire head in that mouth. And look, what the heck? I didn't notice before with other ones. Did his mouth do that? The other ones that we've seen, like if you had your head in there, he would be chomping on your skull. Here we go, let's watch it again. Here we go, come on. Yeah, watch this, watch his mouth. What in the world? I did not notice him doing that in the other stores. Okay, good use of the space though. Instead of just having an empty space here, they set all these guys up. Let's go around the side here and see. Oh sweet, they got Sam with the alternate head. I love the alternate head, but I kind of wish that when you put the different head on, that he actually made different sounds. I don't know what they would be, but something cool. All right, we got our jumping spider here. Let's get him going. <laughs> he jumped up fast. Mister, you are a fasty you are. What in the world, man? Like he jumped up immediately when I stepped on the pad there. But Mr. Howell, I had to like stomp on it and wait. All right, Nightcrawler, we seriously need to get you an orthodontist appointment. Look at those eyes. Yellow eyes for his yellow teeth. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look around in here and see if there's any other setup. I do see a whole stack of them back here, but I wanna see if there's any more set up anywhere first before we start digging in. Holy crap, they got a whole bunch of cool ones stacked up there for sale. And I do not see any others that are uh, set up to play with. <laughs> so let's just go on over here. We'll take a look at these. Look at this. We got a punctured peat. We actually have two punctured peats. So that's cool. We got a, oh, we got a headless jack, but we'll have to look at it on the other side. We have two waving wallies. And then over here, here's our headless jack. I'd love to see him set up somewhere. He is huge. And then we have Wraith, the ghostly figure. Of course, we have a whole bunch of jumping spiders. I think this is the most jumping spiders I've seen in one store this season yet. Black and red, uh, a black one, and a brown one. Isn't there a store that sells like a white jumping spider? I'm pretty sure there is, but I don't remember what it would be. Maybe like Halloween City or something like that. Oh, we got a harvester of souls right here. My son was actually looking for one of these. I don't know if he found it or not, and it would cost a billion dollars to ship. But here we got an Area 31 capsule. This is the second secondary of 31 capsule I've seen in stores. Actually, the last one was in uh, another store in New Hampshire. I would love to have a setup some year with just like a hall full of about 20 of these lining the hall. And look at this, once again, we have a whole slew of sitting scarecrows. What the heck is up with sitting scarecrow this year? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sitting scarecrows in this store, guys. Okay, look at this. I see a couple things over here that are pretty cool. Live wires. Yeah, it's on Try Me and they're not working, but there's probably one of those little tabs you had to pull out to make it work. 
We got the mini, oh, look at him, <laughs> flashing and laughing at us. That is pretty cool, I like that. And we got little Zappy down here. Oh, he's not working either. We got the creepy clowns. The, look at, a lot of these, the button is like totally gone. They're shoved in and you can't even try them. Here's some gargoyles. Okay, that one lights up, that's pretty cool. Looks like a fire inside him. Creepy lantern pathway markers. Yeah, look at that, that's cool. That's sparkly too. Grim tabletop gargoyle. Nope, he's not doing anything. Okay, talking clown door knocker. Crap, he didn't work in the other store that I was in either. And when I say that, I just mean he probably needs new batteries, because if you look, his eyes keep flashing periodically, and of course, now that I'm talking about it, he's not doing it. And even hitting the button right here. Oh, there he goes, he just flashed at me. <laughs> but that's all he'll do. I love walking down through this aisle right here in the stores, because it's like you're walking through a haunted house. All right, wait a minute, what is this? A hand grabber mechanism. Arms move back and forth in a crawling motion. Apparently you stick it out from under like a desk or a door or something. And it looks like the arms are crawling like this, like trying to get out. Oh, look at this, this is cool. This is like pillars for a, uh, a cemetery. If you're building your own cemetery, tombstone pillar set. We got the bag of bones here with a spine. All right, let's check out the clearance section here for a minute. They might have something pretty cool. What in the world? Look at the size of the nose on that. I do like the gargoyle porch light cover. Look, it's just simple plastic. Oh, sweet. That one's even better. Reaper porch light cover. I love that. That is so cool. But anyway, yeah, it's just plastic and you just put it over your porch porch light and it lights up. That is so awesome right there. What is that? Bone crusher mask? That is pretty creepy. No thank you. Oh look, they have the Krampus mask. This guy is so creepy. Oh my gosh. Heck no, man. I do not want to wake up and have him at the foot of my bed. Oh, somebody was telling me to look for gas masks. Here you go. This is a rubber gas mask. And then they have this kind down here, a bio rat mask. <laughs> what the heck? Here you go, haunted house. Billy Butcherson headstone. Tombstone, they're calling it here. Pretty cool. There you go. Trick or treat, Sam. There you go. Look, we totally missed the Hauntress. She's hiding behind the pillar. Let's give her her due. All right, Hauntress, do what you gotta do. Come on, do it. Hauntress. Look at this, I'm stomping on here and the Hauntress is just standing still. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk about the Hauntress. You had your chance to be cool. Hello. Oh, sweet, look at this. Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers hat. That is a pretty cool hat. I didn't really like that movie all that much, but it's a pretty sweet hat. And right above it is the Halloween Kills mask. Gotta love this mask. Holy crap, guys, it's the butcher costume. Look, they just call him Pig Butcher. Wee, wee. This is an awesome one here too, this Grim Reaper. This is a sweet costume. They, I bet you anything, they have that sickle for sale back in the back too. We'll have to go look, let's go check it out. If they have it, it's gonna be back here and it's probably gonna be like in a barrel or something. They usually have all, oh, yep, here we go guys, right here. This is the exact sickle that we were just looking at on that uh, costume. And they have the evil baby head on a skin stick. Holy crap guys, look at this. We have Nightmare Before Christmas Operation and Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly. Look, they have the free hug sign. Do they have a Hugs costume, though? Uh, I saw one at the last Spirit that I was at, but I do not see an actual Hugs costume here. But the free Hugs sign is awesome. Wait, I take it back. Here is the Hugs costume. That's a medium, a medium, a large, and a large. If they, I would have to have a 4XL. <laughs> but look at that, how creepy. You gotta love Hugs. He is one of my favorites of all time. Whoa, this is a sweet hat right here. Welcome to Haddonfield. That is awesome. Now, I really like that one. I don't like the trucker style hats, but that is a cool hat right there. Mystery machine hat and socks. And there's Scoob Zoinks. And here's Shaggy. Like this is uber creepy. Unless you knew I would figure it out. So you told me not to go into the castle so that I wouldn't go into the castle just like you didn't want me to. We got the Ghostbusters string lights here. Ooh, look at that. 
I love how green Slimer is. That is so cool. And the Ghostbusters vinyl table cover. That would be sweet if you're having a Ghostbusters movie night. What the heck? This is totally awesome. Big Frank costume. I don't think I've ever seen this before. That is a huge Frankenstein head right there. Oh, and this is awesome. Inflatable Ghostbusters Stay Puffed costume. <laughs> that is hilarious. And of course we have the new Beetlejuice mask right here. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And the Beetlejuice costume, does this come with pants? Oh my gosh, this comes with everything. Jacket, pants, and tie. That is a pretty sweet outfit right there. Holy crap, yes, we have the Billy Butcherson head. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you gotta love Billy Butcherson. And here's the Billy Butcherson outfit, jacket with shirt and wig. I should just do a whole video of all the Hocus Pocus stuff they have at Spirit Halloween this year. Oh my gosh, look at this gizmo suits. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, Step Brothers, Brennan Huff, and Dale Doback. All right, guys, we are going to get rolling here. Bye, Wacky. <laughs> I told you to stay away. 